let f be the function defined by f of x equals ln of x over x, what is the absolute maximum value of f? In order to find the absolute maximum value of f, we want to take the derivative. So taking the derivative, we have to use a quotient rule, which means take the derivative of natural log of x, which is 1 over x, times the bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom is 1, times ln of x, all over x squared. Here the x is going to cancel, and so we have 1 minus ln of x over x squared. The next step is to find the critical points. So we're going to first set this equal to 0. Now multiply both sides by x squared. Add ln of x to both sides. We have ln of x equals 1, and so x is equal to e. Now for the critical points, you also want to find when it's undefined. So 1 minus ln of x over x squared is undefined at x equals 0, since you cannot divide by 0. But notice also that the function is not defined at x equals 0. So ln of x is only when x is positive, and you can never divide by 0. So think of this as kind of like our starting point. So we're only going to consider values x squared than 0. Okay, so now let's draw our number line here. So this is our first derivative, no, uh, first derivative test. And we want to pick a value between 0 and e. So whatever you pick, let's say 1. ln of 1 is 0, so you have 1 over 1, which is positive. And if you pick a value to the right of e, uh, let's say e squared, 1 minus ln of e squared becomes 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. That's negative 1 over e to the fourth, so that's negative. So here, f is increasing and then decreasing. So you expect there to be a maximum at x equals e. But the question is, is this an absolute maximum? Well, what's happening at x equals 0? The truth is we don't care, but to, just to show you, we will look at the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, since it's not defined at x equals 0. Now, ln of x looks something like this. As x approaches 0 from, from the right, this is going to negative infinity. And as x approaches 0 from the right, x approaches 0. So this is really going to negative infinity. So what's happening is it's, going, it's starting from negative infinity. It's going up. There's a maximum at e, and then it goes down forever. So e turns out to be where the, max, the absolute maximum occurs. And the question said, what is the absolute maximum? When you're looking for the absolute maximum, that is the y value, always. So we plug in x equals e into our original function, which was ln of x over x, and we get that 1 over e is the absolute maximum.